hello and welcome welcome to my channel this is my home cooking adventures and today we are going to cook a cocoa jam it's made of coconut and sugar and it's very simple very easy recipe the first thing that we're going to do is to put the brown sugar in the pan i am going to brown it or caramelize it before we add the coconut milk in or coconut cream in it now i can smell some of the brown sugars that is burning or caramelized now it's time to add the coconut cream we don't need to caramelize the whole sugar just some of it just enough to have the flavor for our cocoa jam by the way here are some tips since i am using 2000 ml of the coconut cream or nine cups and we know it will take time to reduce the fluid plus we save the gas or the energy or the power energy from mixing it so first thing to do is to put the coconut cream in the fridge so the cream itself will separate from the fluid so that way we can only use the cream and not the whole fluid in the box and as you can see here that's how i did well at least i reduced some amount of the fluid and i saved myself from mixing but way back in my hometown we only used the first press from the coconut and some of the second press making coconut jam is very easy you only need is to add the sugar if you don't want to caramelize it and add the coconut cream i have used two bucks of the coconut cream about nine cups or 2000 ml with a two pounds or one kilogram of sugar there is no wrong of making the coconut jam as long as you have the right amount of the coconut cream it is the matter of how you reach the thickness of the cocoa jam We are going to cook it to slow cook for about an hour or more depending on how low or how high your um, fire or heat. We have constantly mixing it to avoid the cardel of the coconut cream. If I let just boil it without mixing, it will become latex. I am only using medium heat in this cooking to prevent from overflowing of our cocoa jam. You can take some breaks here and there when you are mixing your cocoa jam otherwise your arms will get hurt or tired because the cooking is more than an hour and as you can see here it is boiling and it does is the best meaning we are close from getting it sticky. now this is the right time to turn off the heat but i'm gonna let it sit there until it cool down once it's cooled down it will get thicker it is like we reduce the one half to three fourth the amount of the fluid now it's cool and now you see what i'm talking about this is just the right idea for our cocoa jam because once you put it in the fridge, it will become more stickier. And so it's kind of like a runny type. That's the perfect ideal for our cocoa jam. Is it on? No, you didn't turn the video on. And here is the cocoa jam. It's almost halfway. Many people already eat it. And this is when you cool it down or when you put it in the fridge. That's how the textures of the cocoa jam. If you want a little bit liquidy, you can warm it for a few seconds or you can just put it or use it or eat it like this. You can put it in the bread or you can mix with your sweet rice or your suman or whatever you like. See how's the texture? This looks so yummy. 
look out. Now we're going to eat our cocoa jam. I have with the sticky rice, I have the sticky rice with sesame seeds or puree. And I have the sticky rice with red beans. And I'm going to add some of the cocoa jam at the top of it. Yummy. And that's how you eat it. A lot of sugar, but once in a while. And here you go, my finished product of my cocoa jam and with the stick rice in or the suman. I love it. So good. And as always, thank you for watching my video and hope you like it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. See you next time.